She declined the invite to speak. Okay. Was that an accident or that was supposed to happen? Uh, hi, uh, I have a question. Good. Um, so I'm, I'm from New York. Uh, you know, I, I've, I've lived in the city for the last few years. Um, I'm sure that you have, as a detective, you know, uh, had your fair share of mysteries or like crime, like heinous crimes that you've, you know, it was like onion, you know, you needed to like peel back the layers in your, so with that experience, how close do you feel the Indiana police are to like making an arrest? It's a great question. Great question. Thank you. I actually feel with, even from December, once once uh, the Anthony shots was announced, and then not even 24 hours later, we learned it was Keegan. Once that all came out, it pretty much got this all going, and I, I believe we're very close. And I said it the other night on Suits Live that I, I, I feel by June that there's going to be an arrest or plural. I, I feel we are that close. I really do. And, and you got to remember something. Somebody doing what Keegan was doing, they wouldn't have 30 felonies. If you look at the charges, there's some doubled up charges. So when, when you're getting squeezed like that and you have that many charges over your head, you have information that you're not given. And as we're seeing now with the 194 page doc and with the HLN uh, question, and he's kind of now implicating his dad, um, it just shows that uh, Keegan, he, he's the gatekeeper, you know? We don't, we don't know what his role was, you know, if he was, I even said on Suits the other night that, you know, could Keegan have not even been there? You know, could Keegan have been, that's why you had the two devices. There was, the, to me, there was a battle going on within the house of who was controlling the Anthony Schatz account speaking to Libby that day. And, you know, I'm not giving Keegan the benefit of the doubt at all because what he's done is disgusting. He's a, he's an animal for what he did. You know, he's a professional predator. Playing from fire But when I see that, you know, there's just a little piece of me that says, was Keegan trying to not let his dad control that and get Libby to meet him? That's, that's something we just don't know, but it's a possibility. Do you have a follow-up? Yeah, I do. I, um, my follow-up is, so, like, I agree with you. I agree with all of this. But my main thing is, so they've known that Anthony Schatz has existed since 2017, right? They've yes. known that uh, Keegan Klein is behind the Anthony Schatz account. Yes. They know, they've know. they known that Libby was in contact with the Keegan Klein account. Why has it taken five... What, what could have happened between February 2017 and December 2020... To make them wait almost five years to uh, okay. to make this like a public matter. Okay, I got you. Um, it was February twenty fifth was the search warrant at his house when they got back from Vegas, and then he was arrested August nineteenth of twenty twenty. So yeah, there's a long period of time that he was out doing his thing, and what what looks like to me and from Indiana State Police's uh, release that they put out after Anthony Schatz came out and after Keegan came out. And you know, people were giving them, hey, why wasn't this guy arrested? You had everything. And they said that it was kind of an oversight, but it wasn't intentional, and they have to do better. So when I hear that, what it looks like to me is that on that search warrant the day of February 25th, 2017, you had Indiana State Police and the FBI there. Now, I don't know who signed the search warrant, but... It could have been the FBI, federal, they had the search warrant, or even if Indiana State Police had the search warrant signed in Carroll County, they're going into Miami County to serve it, right? Indiana State Police could go all over the state, no county stopping them, and the FBI could go over state lines. So they could have, they went to Miami County where he lives, and they just never gave all the information to the Miami, Miami County prosecutor to charge him. So it, to me, it's an, a huge oversight that he was out for this long and able to keep doing it. Does that make sense to you? Yeah, totally. Yeah, that makes sense. Yeah. Thank you. Which is, which is, when you think about it, how brutal that really is, 
that you know it, they happen. And, and then when you when you look at the 194 94 page doc, you have um, you have the, the two guys. You have uh, Vito from Indiana State Police, and you have the uh, deputy sheriff basically saying to him, "We got you on February 25th." Because of the, you know, contact with the other young girl where the masked man on February 20th appears in her window, 2017. So they basically said to them, this is how we got you. So don't try and play like the Anthony Schatz thing isn't you. So you get what I'm saying? So it, I don't know how it all fell apart and how they got off Keegan because they had him very early. That's why they went there on the 25th of February in 2017. So it's kind of a, it doesn't make sense. There, something happened where they veered off from him but then when you watch the 2019 presser you see them there that's why they're going back there to me they went right back to them and that's why they use the, the term when doug Carter speaks he says shift gears and there's many ways you could say we're going in a new direction when everything he said at all the pressers was it was strategically written so that somebody that would know what he's saying knows what's said and saying shift gears plays into Tony Klein with the car racing and, you know, he's all into cars. So it's kind of like the, the hint was there of who they were getting at. You get what I mean? That's really interesting. Um, yeah. I guess, so one thing I thought of, like, while you were talking is um, there have been, I, I can't remember who said it, but someone said a couple of years ago, like, in Indiana law enforcement, like, honestly, we thought this would be wrapped up in a matter of weeks. Do you that think was Robert was, Ives. Yes, yeah. yeah um, that was the problem. He, he basically said with the evidence they had, even even if it wasn't in 2017, he's basically saying if it was, if it was in, you know, the 90s or whatnot, having, well, I'm not going to get my dog up, having what they had, yeah, she's a mouse, she's crazy. Stop, stop. Ha- having what they had just shows that... You know, because in the nineties, yeah, there was there was some mm-hmm. DNA stuff, but it wasn't very large. So, what did they have that that would make him say that? You know, and I don't know if you saw for the five for five years, he even he even said a few weeks ago, Robert Ives. You know, he's 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 been an advocate for like let's get some information out there. He said, you know, he said that the law enforcement should tell the public why they're not giving a cause of death for the girls now. Like, what what is what is the what what is the benefit that five years later you're not you're not giving the cause of death, you know? So it, it's it's good having right. having you know this yeah. is, you have a guy who he would he would actually if if when arrested me he might come back as a special prosecutor, you know he, he said it he is open to that so you know he having him give law enforcement a little bit of hard time I like to see because at the end of the day there is some stuff that they can give, and Anthony Schatz to me was only given. Because Barbara McDonald had an interview set up at the jail, or that wouldn't have come out. It came out when it came out ten o'clock at night. I said instantly, "Okay, something happened that caused them to come out ten o'clock at night and drop this news." Because you're not you're, you. That would be like a five six o'clock p.m. thing, not ten o'clock at night. So the jail was aware that Barbara McDonald was having that interview on the 9th of December. So Indiana State Police said, "All right, we have to come out and give them something." So they came out and dropped the Anthony Schatz thing, leaving Keegan Klein out. But Barbara already had it. She had him in the jail. So, you know, did she leak it so that his name came out? Somebody did. Right, but didn't uh, Barbara McDonald say that she didn't know about it until um, until it came out and then she did digging and, like, pretty much immediately it was like, oh, it's this guy. Yeah, that's... That's what, that's, stop it. He said, but at the same time, something made Indiana State Police drop at 10 p.m. and come straight out and, and, and give it. Sure. You know, right. so something did. And to me, it's that, well, well, anything, anything to do with the jail is recorded. So she had to make contact, you know, if she went through his attorney or whatever she did to make contact to get it, to get on the books, to go in there and interview him. So to me, that's where it's coming from, you know. Anyone else who wants to? And, and that's question? enough. 
talk about I have yeah, get, is that, get, 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 sorry, get. I, I feel like I'm hogging the space, but... No, no, I, no, no, it's fine. We got time. I have a lot of questions. Um, what, what the hell are Keegan Klein's attorneys doing letting him have a... Uh, in a full blown interview with like the main uh, the main journalist following and covering the the Delphi murders. Like that seems insane to me that a lawyer would allow a client in jail pending charges that will put him away for like the rest of his life. Like, I w- what is that about? I'm, I, so I have no idea. It's very it's very it's very true because. Any attorney that I know wouldn't let wouldn't let their, wouldn't let wouldn't let them speak. So I don't know. I mean, at the end of the day, if he wants to talk, he he can talk. You know, the, the attorney can only tell you. I, I advise you not. But it's happened many times where you know people just don't play. he he feels he's manipulating the conversation in that 194 page doc. And if you really pay attention to his answers, he's trying to play like, uh, oh, you know, this was so traumatizing that I'm forgetting, you know, or, or I, I pack that away because I don't want to think about it. Like, he was trying to manipulate law enforcement. They were not playing it. You know, it just, he thinks he's smart. He might think he's smarter than everybody else, but it, 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 as we see it, it totally backfired by him talking to Barbara. I mean, it did. But then I know, I'll, I'll give you another one because I know a question will probably come up about it, is that why did, um, what did I say? Hold on, it'll come to me. Oh, why, why did, um, with the whole attorney thing, and because and, um, the attorney was in the room when he was being pressed on Delphi. We, we do know that. And uh, the attorney wasn't representing him because he's not charged by anything in Delphi. And he has, a, he has a public defender. From everything I know, he's got a public defender, and they can't, they're being paid by the state, and they can't represent you for something you're not charged with. So I hope that makes sense. Hey, are you um, able to see the the questions that are coming in on the chat board? Oh um, no, I got I got to look at the board. <clears throat> Looking at the board right now. Yeah. Okay. Just wanted to let you know you, that they're coming in, and I could I could read them to you if you couldn't get to them. Well, I see one raised hand, but when I go into there, oh, here we go. It's loading up. I got you. Let's see. Let me read this quick. Sure. Were either of the guys part of the search party to find the girls? I thought L.E. felt the couple was possibly part of the search party. That's a great question, and I don't know. I can't give you 100% on that. I have seen um, part of the search party lists, and I do not see either of their name. So as of now, I can't say for certain that they were there or not on either of the days for the searching. Okay, we got another one. Do you think it was a kidnapping attempt? But Abby showed up with Libby, and it all fell through. I really don't. Um, when when you think about just that video clip and how he's he's walking towards them, he he, he was there on a mission, and it, it was he it was there he was there for a murder. You know, you, you see, I know a lot of people say, "Oh, was it?" In, there's this whole theory out there that, oh, you know, they were going to abduct them and take them somewhere else. There's no evidence anywhere <clears throat> that there was going to be a except for the walk across the creek to, to, you know, where they were found on Ron Logan's property. So as of now, we, we don't we don't know anything about any of any of an abduction. It sounds more or less like uh, somebody was, you know, looking, you know, to commit a double murder. Fig Mutant. Fig, what's up, buddy? I wonder if the 10 p.m. statement was released so abruptly because one of Anthony Schott's accounts was logged into. Oh, that's, that's, yeah, that's a, that's a, that's a high possibility. I mean, that high possibility. You have, you have Keegan, who has been in jail since August 19th of 2020. That, that could have stirred something up. You know, there could have been a contact, you know, made to a female who reported it. But just that 10 p.m. drop, it was, it was, 
you know, to me, it was, you know, was, was somebody, you know, on surveillance and something went bad. There's just so many different aspects that could play into that. If he was on YouTube, that would wake him out if he was on YouTube. What do I make of friend one and friend two? Um, <clears throat> friend one is, uh, very interesting how he, you know, moved to Vegas with the two kids and allowed, uh, our gremlin, Keegan, to, uh, stay with him with the two children. And, and, and I'm, and I'm not too big on, on, on really talking about the part of the doc that had, that had the, uh, sea Sam in it because we know it's in there and we and you really need to talk about it. It's, it's, it's the worst of the worst. And and I just, I found Keegan's response to the um, the children, the very young children, how he was so grossed out by it and he didn't even want to talk about it and blah, blah, blah. To me, it's one of two things. It's either Keegan knows that when you, you're you going to jail for you know anything kids related is, is going to go bad in jail. You got toddler stuff and that's, you know, he's going to be in solitary confinement if that's his. Or is it not his, and that's somebody else in the house that's, you know, in, into that more? That's also a high possibility. We just, we don't know for a fact on that. Yeah, no, I think that's right. You know, he's, he has a public defender, so his public defender cannot, um, cannot represent him with a, a conversation about Delphi because he's not charged. And the state's paying, you know, you got a public defender, state's paying the bill, and you can't have an attorney that's being paid by the state for something you're not charged with. Do we have any hands? Can Can I ask a question, like, just from in a, like a standpoint from criminal psychology? Um, so I work at St. Elizabeth, Elizabeth for the Criminally Insane, and we always have to, like, try and depict with um, sex offenders, whether they are mm -hmm. and like criminal sex offenders in terms of interest in infants or criminal sex mm -hmm. offenders in terms of the like prepubescent and then at yeah. the age of puberty, it's not technically medically de defined as being um, a pedophile. I know that's like very controversial, but we can't. No, I, but I, 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 so. I, know, I know it is, but I understand. I understand the whole aspect. I get it because I understand that, and people wouldn't wouldn't really so, get it, but I do. Yeah, I, okay. I know. So with Keegan, like I feel like he's just really averse to the infant things. Don't you think this is mm -hmm. kind of like a big group of people, and maybe he's just the person who has the. Uh, has all of it being um, oh absolutely yeah no absolutely but the, the it's only one of two ways the way he responds is he is disgusted by it and he's like he says basically i don't want to have to talk about that you know let you know that does nothing to do with me and he really responded defensive towards it yeah so it's, he's it's either he, he's not he's not at all into it it's not his yeah and it's the other person that's in the house or it's he was lying, but I do feel that he is not into that. That's my that's my opinion. That, that's just yeah, I agree with when that. you read it, it would be it would you'd get a better tell of a video of it. You know, it, when when that video because that's that was definitely recorded. When that video comes out, it, you'll be able to tell in his body language. Yeah, I'm you know, it, it's that. so hard to see. It, it, even I mean, listen, Mercy did a great job putting it out. I couldn't listen to it because it was so hard. It was just easier to read. You know, because. They're trying to put their emotion. It's just hard. It's hard. 194 pages. It's hard to go through anyway. But to just act it out, it's it's almost impossible to get it. You know, to get it with emotion. But yeah, I mean, when that recording comes out, you'll see a lot more. You know. But yeah, I, I do agree that I I don't feel he was into that. I, I feel that's somebody else. So I I have a follow up question for that. Um, yeah. I I agree that. Um, I, I think that Egan Klein's, like, uh, sexual deviance is towards, like, post-pubescent but still underage. Um, and I feel like he finds shit, like, that has to do with, like, literal, like, underage, un like, prepubescent children as disgusting as we would find, like, shit about, like, you know, fifteen-year-olds uh, 
Oh yeah, disgusting uh, so, and perverse. Think, yeah. do, do you think that um, that points to um, the Anthony Schatz account maybe being so widespread that of uh, like he doesn't no. even know who has access to it, or do you no, think it's within no, the family? No, he, he he has access to Anthony Schatz and probably his father. They were they were sharing the images with with the um, the uh, Dropbox, and yeah, that that's why he was using Dropbox. He was he was basically taking whatever he's getting from the girls. He's you know he's grooming and getting them to send this and that videos, and he's storing it away in his Dropbox. You know, because that's that's a private server and whatnot, and that's how he could share. Like basically, if you have a Dropbox, you could take you know you have say you have five thousand pictures. One image you could share to like one person, or you could share it to multiple multiple people, or you could make you know you could make different you know playlists or, or photo albums, and you could share them with either one person or whoever you're giving access to. So that's why I've always said like from the first once we heard I heard Dropbox, I mean that's that's to me that's Pandora's box. It's just going to open, and and that's and you're seeing you're seeing arrests going all over Indiana, and in the affidavit you can see, you're seeing like prior you know prior investigation. I mean. We know where that's linking back to, you know? Yeah, if I may, not just, can I just say something real quick? Sorry, I already started. Yeah, um, no, no, no. Um, go, just go, the yeah. Dropbox is different. Uh, if no one's used it, what's different about it than, like, say, something like OneDrive or even Google Drive, you don't have to have an account to log in. Uh, so it does provide... Uh, if they share no the file, you're able to access it. Anonymity, but, yeah, that, that might... That's the thing about Dropbox, and that's why it's... What yeah. he's using instead of you know his that's whatever. Why that's why. It, uh, that's why it one is drive or whatever. Yeah. Yep. Very true. So, like, is it possible that he would have no idea that um, there would be like fucking five year olds on there, and he like was genuinely surprised, or you, or do you think that's just a lie? I think he's basically saying this isn't mine. You know, it, it's there. You know, sure, it's, sure. it's the, the images are there. They're on the devices. They're, they're there. So whoever got them, you know, he's, he he's, he says to, to Barbara that his dad, you know, could have had access. We know we know on on the thirteenth that there was a fight going on in the house where somebody was signing on to Snapchat. Then immediately another device in the house was signing on to knock that person off. So something was going on. Like who was who wanted the control? You know, that, that's what, it, you know, and, and that's the whole thing. Power, control, you know, all these words you're hearing at the press conferences, it's, it, it's all like a mind game to let that person know, like, we're coming. You know, it, it sucks that it's five years and five years gone by, but they're coming. You know, it, it, it is getting there. Checking. Do we have any more Actually, uh, let's see. I, I see a raised, a raised hand. Uh, if this, it might not. Go ahead. No, I just got knocked off. I'm back. I'm, I'm... Okay, Arky Giamoto, did you have a question, or did you just what? raise your hand inadvertently? Okay. Go ahead. No, I do have questions. Um, several of them actually. Um, so hey, sorry Arky. to. Hi, how are you? Good. Um, Up on in. This is. This is really great, by the way, and I'm learning a lot and enjoying this. Um, so in terms of the, so you think it could be wrapped up as early as June. What do you think that um, that the final steps are, um, the final nails on the coffin that they need? Do you think it's, do you think they've just built up a, a circumstantial case that, that could be insurmountable from a defense perspective? Or do you think it's possible that, that Keegan has um, turned state's evidence? Um, do you think that's why maybe? Um, mm. his, I, I, I don't see him turn in state's evidence right. it depends we have to look at it this way it depends what his involvement is for the murders you know he has right. 30 felonies over his head they're, they're they're squeezing him but we don't know you know what his involvement is okay. could he get he, listen if he was say hypothetical he was just there you know he, he was there to you know somebody you know you're coming with me and that's that and he was just there you know, it's possible he would get something lesser, but we just don't. I, I, I would hate to, to even 
go there and 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 try and say and you now it's we just don't know yet but right. i think we're gonna i think we are gonna know soon remember that these documents august 19th is when um august 19th 2020 is when he was arrested that's when he was interviewed that's the 194 page doc and they just did the transcript a few weeks ago so that shows right. me that they, they are lining things up for you know possibly a, you know arrests Okay, so I was also wondering about that, too. You don't think it's just a coincidence, that, or maybe that's not the normal timeline, that somebody has just now gotten around to creating a transcript? No, I mean, no. Tra- okay. he, he, that, that was a, that, that was a, that's an important interview. And right. why did it go that long? And now, you know, Anthony shot stuff come out, and, you know, hey, we're getting close. We, we are. I, 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 you know, think about Doug Carter, he, how giddy he was. You know, with some of the interviews, that he I mean, he was really like, you know, he was holding, he was hold, trying to hold it in, but, he, you know, he, he looked like he was like a, a clown a little bit, like he was going to clap his hands. Like, he, he's, yeah. he's feeling, we're, we're almost at the finish line. Right. And, the you really, and, 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 and you know what, that's, what that's going to be for these guys that worked on this case, because, <laughs> let me tell you, I, I hate when people knock them, I, it bothers me that it's five years too, Be- believe me, it, it, it drives me nuts, but. These guys are, are this, this is eating them up. You know, anybody that saw that crime scene, you think of Tobe on, on, on the day the girls were found. And, and everybody's saying, oh, you know, why, why was he, why wasn't he talking? And why was it, he just, he, he was one of, the other two weren't there. He was at the crime scene. So he, he was in shock at what he just witnessed with his eyes. Thinking that this happened in Delphi, like this happened in Delphi, really? You know, so that's that's why he acted the way he did. Listen, cops are humans, you know, mm-hmm. it, especially when you come up on two kids and the way it's been described that is it, it was a brutal double murder. I can envision what that could be. It's not, you know, let's let them tell us what it is, but it's not something anybody wants to see, you know, but you got to pack it away and you got to you got to, you know, work the case to get the arrest and, and get it done. Right. Um, what do you, just in kind of a follow-up to that, what do you think uh, the chances are, sorry about the Keegan stuff, um, the chances no, no. are that he's, he's at least by this point, told law enforcement, okay, maybe my dad did have access to, to the Anthony Schatz account, or do you think they've done that, or they've just gotten some circ- like circumstantial evidence, or, you know, from another direction, or another way, or what do you, do you think they would need him to, oh, do you think I, they need I, him? I, I, I would think that... Um you know, Tony's phones are probably being recorded. There's, there's a lot going on. You know, there's a lot, there's a, I think there's a lot going on, you know, and I know he's been riding his motorcycle a lot. And, uh, I, I, I know the, re- I, I, I know the reason that he is riding his motorcycle a lot because he, he probably thinks that, it, you know, his vehicle might have something on it that, you know, that'll tell his location at all times. You know, your motorcycle's in the garage and not getting to that, you know, and I, I know that for a fact because that's, you know, that's just something I did at work. And so I get it, you know. doesn't matter what the temperature is. You know, if you're going somewhere you don't really want to be followed, you're going to take your motorcycle. Right. And maybe he's also trying to get in those last days of freedom. Like, maybe he realizes that this is, that the, the hammer is coming down, you know. Oh, uh, with, without a doubt. With, with, with he stopped talking to his son for a reason, you know, he, he, he might, he may, you know, maybe he, you know, Keegan might not know why his dad's not talking, but maybe, you know, they had, you know, the last time they spoke, maybe, you know, maybe he felt something from his son that was like, oh shit, what's, what, you know, what has he been telling people? Right. And we know it's not, he didn't stop talking to Keegan because he got busted for the CSAM. I mean, as a matter of fact, he posted on his Facebook in um, June or, or, I don't know, sometime in summer of 2018, a picture of Keegan and said, I'm so excited, my son's coming home for a week. Yeah, um, yeah the lie. The, the big, yeah. That's the big lie. Yeah. Right. Oh, my son's coming home. For, he was in Vegas for two, the big lie. The only, you know, the only time that we, we know for a fact Keegan was in Vegas was with his father, February 21st to the 25th. <laughs> Right. Which I, which I which I would love to know when that vacation was planned because it's very yeah. coincidental that the twentieth happened with the masked man at the girl's window and within twenty four hours those those two losers are in Vegas together. Oh, for sure. And, and, and instead of enjoying himself, like they tried to say, like you're in Las Vegas, you're you know four days in Vegas, and you're on your phone constantly, and and you're just looking up a Delphi case. 
and multiple times listening to the audio, you know? So it just, it just shows you he could say whatever he wants. There's a, there's a huge connection, you know? He could, he could say it till he's blue in the face that, oh, I had nothing to do with it. But we're seeing every bit of, yeah, that's not true. Right. Absolutely not. Well, thank you so much. I may have more questions later, but thank you for now. That no, that's great. fine. Any, anytime. Go ahead. You're here. Okay. Thank you. CD, what do you think the motive is? Uh, you know, it, it, it's hard to say. I, I have a lot of things that, that totally tie in together. And I don't, I don't know if... I, I, I hate. I would hate to say something that I don't, I, I don't know. Let's let's remember, right? Okay, so you had Libby talking to him. You had the other girl that that Libby slept in the house the week before the murders. The, you know, the, the, those two both talking to him. Um, then let's go to after the murders. Kelsey's sitting with Renner, and they're at that uh, restaurant and they're talking. And Kelsey brings up how Kelsey, uh, Libby had a falling out with her friends. If you tie the two together, that's the friend she had the falling out with. So was there, you know, was there something going on there that caused, you know, something to move forward and a double murder to happen? You know, not not saying that the little, you know, the other little girl had anything to do with it, but was was there like a you know a little power struggle going on between them and maybe a threat, you know, that you know from Libby like you know I'm going to do this. There's so many angles that this could go. But at the end of the day, they're tying to one thing, and that's Anthony Schatz and the person behind it, or two people behind it. Hi, CD. Hey. Can you hear me? Loud and clear. Good. All right. Um, I just had a question. Um, when Barb McDonald came to interview after that interrogation, it seemed like um, Kagan had totally changed you know, his response about his father. He talked about the abuse. He talked about um, the only other person that could be on his phone would be his father because he's the only one that lived there with him. Do you think mm-hmm. that he um, maybe got, like, I don't know, I know he doesn't have a lawyer for the charges that are not there, but from somebody else basically describing how serious this was, and he's just starting to break now realizing how deep he is into this well remember when they when they interviewed him it was right when he was arrested on august 19th of 2020 you know you, you fast forward to uh you know to, to to 2021 december 2021 he's he's been in jail for a long time you know you, you do a lot of thinking while you're in jail and it was recent from the end of November, when they when they did the most re- November 20, uh, 21, the most recent search warrant at uh, the father's house, that the father stopped talking to him. So now he's feeling abandoned, like my dad. You know, I'm his only son, and and now he's not talking to me. Like you know what I mean? So yeah, he's got there's a lot going on. His father's not putting money on his books anymore. So he's feeling resentment towards his father. And I think exactly. it goes deeper. I think it goes deeper because he's the one sitting in the jail, and Daddy's out riding his motorcycle all over the place. And Keegan, you know, thirty felonies overhead, over his head. Keegan knows something that uh, that uh, law enforcement wants to know. And I, um, I also wanted to ask about, like, you know, how Ali has been saying they're still looking for one missing piece. Do you believe that that is the? I mean, the sketch. Do you think that Ellie really doesn't know who that sketch is, or they're just waiting for someone to verify it? Can you say that one more time? My internet went out. I'm sorry. I can you? Re- I, I lost service for a second. Can you just repeat? Oh. Um, Jeez, oh, I forgot what I said. <laughs> uh, you were. Um, I was talking yeah. about the the sketch. Of the young, the young man, the second sketch. Do you think that Ellie basically knows who this person is? The missing part is just confirming that he was there. Like they need something more to confirm that 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 person was at the bridge. Yeah, definitely. This even the changing of the sketch, and, and we look at the first sketch to the second sketch. 
it's a drastic age difference, you know, yeah. and, and there's, there's so many different things like, oh, you know, was it from DNA, you know, was it from this, from what law enforcement said, that was drawn up a few days after the murder and they kind of, you know, sidelined it from witness statements, witness statements that, that, you know, brought them towards the older sketch. So it, it's a mm-hmm. tough one. I, I don't know, you know. I mean, I, I've worked cases with sketches, and, and we never had, you know, we, I've never dealt with anything where you had a sketch that, that changed a case like this. So yeah, it's, it's that's so, what it, I was yeah. wondering. So yeah. it, it's so hard to say, you know, why and what changed that. And um, my last question is, do you think that um, Tony Klein has a lawyer, and that's why he hasn't been pulled in for, like, an interrogation his lawyer is just basically like refusing until they press charges. Well, that, that's one. That's one reason that they could have, you know, built, you know, and had whatever they had to go for the search warrant at the end of November. You know, it, it's hard to say for me to say definitely. I, I mean, if you know, you know, from even impressing your son that they feel you're their number one guy, the smartest thing you could do is have an attorney. I mean, you know. Yeah, it, it, it's like any, any, you know, it's, you know, this is, this isn't a petty crime, it's a double murder. So I, exactly. I would think he has an attorney, but it's, it's just hard to say, that, you know, for a fact. And they probably wouldn't be able to, like, get a warrant for his DNA because there's really nothing yet. I'm supposing that they could connect for sure to get a warrant. Well, I, I'm sure they have, you know, asked them. We just don't know if he ha- if he's given it or not. You know? Exactly. I mean, and the whole thing about, you know, there's so many different, you know, angles. And I'm working on, on putting out a video on, on the whole DNA stuff and, you know, based on, you know, just a partial DNA and, and what would, you know, what would, I don't, I don't, I think it would, it's going to be hard if they have the partial, if it's only a partial DNA that they have to say, you know, it's blank. You know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah, exactly. It, it, okay. it's, it's, it's tough. It really is. But I think, uh, you know, we, we, the whole thing is we don't, they, they've been asking for DNA since the beginning of this case. Okay. So to only have a partial is a head scratcher. Yeah. That's so somebody, right. somebody speaking, yeah. somebody, somebody saying something. Awards. Oh no, that was just me. Oh, no problem. All good. No, I was just agreeing. Okay. I appreciate it. Thank you so much. No, anytime, awesome. Christine. Hey, I'm gonna ask. I was dying to ask you something. Um, would you? I want your thoughts on the transcript. When you like got the transcript and read it, was there what surprised you, if anything? Was there there something? I mean, any particular part of it that really did surprise you, or that you, your mind grabbed onto, or and, and did anything not surprise you at all that you had been uh, expecting? I mean, there's there's just so many there's so many pieces of that that are are, are pretty mind blowing, you know. It, it, the the part that doesn't okay top five you know, what, top five one, mind blows in in, in one, one thing order. that doesn't one thing that doesn't surprise me is I feel that friend one is a weak link and that's why he he's pushing off towards him. You know, do you know what I mean? If you have you know if, yeah if you if you're gonna if you're gonna push on to anybody it's gonna be on a, somebody that's most likely or possibly not, you know, not affiliated with the case. He lived with them, you know, for a little bit. So I feel like, you know, is this guy just who he's pushing on? You know, uh, one one thing that blew my mind was the masked man. That uh, that did blow my mind, and and just the whole connection of it of because Keegan knew where she lived already. You know, so on August, on August, when, on, uh, what was it, the 20th, right? February 20th, when the masked man was there, earlier she, you know, she said, my parents aren't home, this is my address. Keegan didn't need, didn't need the address, he knew the address already. You know, so it, it's, that was, that was totally mind-blowing to me. And my, my thing is, what was going to happen at the house? Why, why was the person there? Was the person there maybe to get her phone? You know, to get rid of the history on the phone. Good question. God. You know, yeah. Because, you know, the history's there. So if he's there to get the history, you're going to delete just like you did, you know, with, with Libby's conversation. So that makes, that does make sense to me of like, you know, maybe to 
yeah, wear a mask, you know, look in, you know, can I, you know, break the window, grab the phone and get the hell out of here? Or, you know, was it going to be something more sinister than that? We don't know. Um, his, his other things that blew my mind was just his responses. You know, he, you know, he's, it's like he's trying to play like a, an amnesia thing. I'm traumatized. You know, you traumatized hundreds of, uh, of children. But now you're playing a defense of how traumatized you are from a woman for the government that talked to you and that like totally changed you. He's a he's a pathological liar. And does anybody have any questions about the document? Like, does anybody want me to clarify anything? You know, are there any questions that were typed out? I don't see anything. I don't see anything new on the typed out. Does anybody else see anything new? So I, I have a pretty specific question for you. Sure. Yeah. Um, so I, I'm, I'm from Long Island. Um, oh. I can kind of tell by your accent you might be from that area too. And I, I uh, spent a lot of time in Long Island, but no, I'm not from Long Island. Oh, really? But, oh, okay. Yeah. Well, regardless. Smithtown? Smithtown? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Um, so, like, my mind goes to the Long Island serial killer, right? Uh-huh. That's... Yeah, tell me why, yeah, forgive me. Well, more. arguably, that's the most, um, un- the most infamous unsolved serial case yeah. in yeah. On the East Coast, yeah. Yeah, like, like, post-Zodiac killer, that's yeah. notorious. What um, what went wrong in that case? Like, because you're a New York detective, right? Or you yeah. were? Yeah, retired so now. What, what what went wrong in that case that might have also gone wrong in this case? Like, well, because I know that what James Burke may or may not be involved, <laughs> allegedly. Yeah, it, it, um, it, it's. But it's but, it's a tough. It, well, what, this this is how I'll, I'll separate the cases. I feel the Long Island serial killer is one person, and I feel Delphi is at least two, okay, to possibly five. So that that's how it's totally it's just totally so like you know you had a, you had you know Long Island serial killer you have a serial killer this one a single serial killer that's hunting and doing you know what what he wants. Mm-hmm. I feel Delphi you had this is this is multiple people. You know, so, this is this, yeah. Because that's interesting. Because, and uh, well, like obviously, you would know more than me. But I've always been of the opinion that the Long Island serial killer is multiple people and the Delphi like copycats. Killer. Like, like you mean like no, you mean like a, oh, you mean like you think it's a group? Like, just like a culture that allowed whatever was going on in Gilgo Beach to mm-hmm. continue. Um, and the Delphi murder just only, only because nothing like this has happened in the five years since yep. is a singular person that did something. You know what I mean? Yeah. No, yeah, no, I, I, I know exactly. So, and, and so it, it's highly possible that nothing happened since is because of how early they were approached. You know, murders happened on February 13th. Yeah. yeah, the masked man on February 20th, they're in Vegas on the 21st, they get back on the 25th, and from what somebody who, who lives near them uh, put on Reddit, and from what I've heard, he's very reputable, there were 20 cars there with a SWAT team, you know, 20 police vehicles and a SWAT team on the 25th when they went there to serve the search warrant. You know, they, listen, they, you know, Tony has a, a violent history, so you're not, you're not taking a chance with that, even if it's a search, you know, it's search warrant. That's you know. It's not. It's not a no knock search warrant. You're still going to come there with with you know with the with the gang. You know, because you know and then go wrong. And, and the whole thing is, it's safety for them too. You know, you don't. You you want everybody to be safe. Nothing happened when you're doing a search warrant. You know, which is it. Which is it, it is interesting though that that they were onto them so fast, which possibly you know stopped a serial you know thing from going on. That, that's highly possible. Sure, but my question is like. Is it possible that the sheer volume of attention that this case immediately got could have possibly made the uh, 
the, the killer to like get the hell out of Dodge. And then now he's somewhere else, like on the opposite side of the country. No, I don't think it's so. the same thing. Not, not with no. Delphi. No, I don't think so. I, I, I no? think we, we are, we, we, we have our crew. Okay. I, I believe a hundred percent we have our crew. So then why wouldn't they have escaped and, you know, continue to fulfill their, cause I'm assuming this. Well, let's think of it this way, right? They, they, right? they, they tried to make their alibis of going to, you know, not, not for the 13th, but for the 21st through 25th, they went to Vegas. So they were trying to be, you know, my opinion, out of here right after the 20th, that incident, they know the cops were called. You know, I'm sure somebody might have been a spotter down the road. Cops come, blah, blah, blah. Let's get the hell out of here. You know, so when they leave and listen, Tony's got to come back for work, comes back on the 25th. They're not expecting to have, you know, what happened at their house when they got home. But that's what happened. You know, and that's, you know, that started, you know, the initial stuff off on them. So it's not like at the end, they, where, where were they going? They didn't know when he was on to them, you know? Right, right. But, uh, you know, but they, they told them when the, when they brought Keegan in. But at that time, they had no idea. They thought like, oh, let's go to Vegas. Let's get the hell out of here. And we're going to be, you know, that's our album. We're, we're in Vegas. We're in here. Right. But I mean, I mean, after that, after that. Well, where would like, they go? Well, where are they really going to go? Like, yeah. You, yeah, could, you no, could run. run but let me right. tell you something. You could run. I mean, look at the two of them. Okay. So you, you, when when their pictures get put up, they're, they're, they're very, you know. Some of, the, some of the people you see wanted could be anybody, you know? You know? Mm-hmm. The, these two have very distinct features. I mean, come on, Keegan resembles a gremlin. He, re, he really does. He does. <laughs> he, 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 I mean, yeah. at, yeah. if you look at his pictures from five years ago and look at what he looks like sitting there at Barbara, jail, this is jail. It's not doing him well. Prison no. is going to be no. worse. So, I mean, look, he, you know, he, he, his hair is falling out. He's got some kind of, like... Uh, uh, maybe a fungus going on on his face. It might be ringworm. Who knows what it is. There's a lot going on there. You know, so he, he that might be also why he's talking a little bit because, you know, it gets a little lonely in there. And, and when you're a predator, uh, you know, no, nobody really likes you in jail except for the other predators. So they, you know, and they'll knife you too. So at the end of the day, it's not like he has anybody in there he could talk to. You know, he's got to watch his back at all times. So. That's probably why he's buckling, and then Daddy abandoned him in his eyes. So th- th- it's, it all makes sense. No, yeah, I I hear you, but w- what I'm saying is, what if it isn't the clients? That's that's what I mean. Like, well, well, my my whole thing is that bridge guy might not be the clients. Right. That's what I mean. So, like, would it be? That's why. I'm, that's well, why I'm saying that there might be maybe. Two, up to five. Sure, but like that's like, would it be feasible that you would see this mo? Like someone, not the clients. Maybe they're involved. Not the clients. They saw. The- but let's let's put it this way, right? Mm-hmm. Even if they weren't there, but they set that up, you're an accessory to murder. Oh, oh sure. sure. You know what I'm saying? So it's at the end of the day. It, it just depends what their role was, and then also, you know what I mean? and and you're you know you're facing you know decades in jail. Why not sell that person down the river? But I mean, he's he's facing with the thirty felonies. He could be pay, facing sixty years plus in prison. Oh you know, no, he's got thirty. Nine, I mean, this is it's, nine, a, it's yeah. absurd what's over his head. It really is because somebody else that didn't have information might have only five charges. Not that he. I'm not saying that five charges isn't a lot. I'm just saying he has 30 charges. Right. They're basically saying, like, you are going to jail for the rest of your life or else, unless you... Uh, unless you, you, you chirp. Want. Let's go. Give what I want. It's time yeah. to chirp. It is. It's time to chirp. It is. The time is now. You know? And, right. and that's what they were, they were... They were trying to lean them on that. And oh, this is what I'll tell you that I, I found very interesting at how abruptly it ended. I'm not sure if anybody caught on to that, but uh, the the deputy sheriff he got he 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 was how do I say it nicely? Um, deputy sheriff lost his composure, which caused Keegan to say it once. He asked for an attorney once. I don't know if anybody's paying attention to that, but it, it, when you're interrogating somebody, that's 
that's the last thing you want to hear, the word attorney. And, you know, they, they were able to cool them down pretty quick and reel that back in. But at the end of the day, you know, this is, it, it, the whole thing is, is that you're going to get frustrated talking to somebody like him because in your head, you know what he's done to all these kids. You know, he's highly likely involved in the double murder, what his role was, you know, whatever. So you're going to lose, you know, there are times you're going to lose your composure, but they almost lost them. In a, in, you know, he said it one more time. That's it. it that, he's iced. That, there's no more talking. It's just, all right, that's it. So he so said the deputy sheriff, he leaves the room, you know, but he, after they roll him back, he did ask him more questions, but then you see he abruptly leaves. And then, you know, Vito presses him a little bit more and then Vito leaves. And that was it. You know, that, that was, that, that's just how it ended. You know, which was, which was inter- interesting to me. So I know there's a part two is what I'm getting at. And I would love to see part two of that. Um, I had a question. What yeah. uh, what kind of leads you to believe there could be up to five, and what is kind of what links those potentially up to five people together? Um, well, there's, there's there's a there's just a lot of different pieces that fit together, and and I'm only. I, I'm going five as the high, and that's and that's only if there were some extra things done at the crime scene that I, I would feel there were five people. It's something I, I don't want. I don't really want to get into that yet because I can't. It's too hard to. It's too hard to break down five people without really knowing, you know. But that's something we will address later. But I do feel 100 percent that the two of them are involved. 100 percent. It's just what is their role. You know, because they, when you, you know, I've been, I, I, I've watched the whole bridge, the bridge guy over and over again, over and over again, because I'm trying to just see something I didn't see before. And, and it's so hard. It's like, I, I, I want to fit that to Keegan so bad because he does have that lizard neck where it, it shrunks in and he looks shorter. And it's something that's bothering me at how he says he's 5'11", but to me, he looks like he's 5'9". So it, it, it's just, a, it's a tough one, you know, it is a tough one. If he was two inches shorter, I, I would say, you know, it, it could be him. Okay. And um, did you feel like uh, Kegan was afraid of friend number two in that interrogation? Uh, 100%. There, there's a reason that, I, you know, they, they said to him on, on multiple occasions... This is your best friend. You know, they're basically saying, this is your best friend in the whole world, and you've never mentioned them. You know, so, yeah, there, there, there possibly is some fear there. Um, you know, there could, be, there, there could be more tying them together, but uh, we'll, we'll leave that there for now because uh, we just don't, we don't, I, I don't I, with, with this whole case, I don't like to speculate too much to put anything in anybody's head where I'm saying it is fact. Do you, do you know what I mean? And I'm only saying sure. what I feel from just my experience. But it's hard to say something that could make anybody lean a certain way, and I, I don't, I don't, I don't feel I'm helping anybody if I do that. If that makes sense. Sure. Thank you. No problem. There's hey, a hand is there a hand up? Oh. There's a hand up. Oh, is that I, a- I had a hand up before. Yeah. But I'm not no, sure. No, no, how this yeah, works, absolutely. Really. Come on. Um, <clears throat> thanks for doing this. I'm also from no New York, New York City. Awesome. Yeah, um, hear it. <laughs> it's my uh, my husky cold voice. But uh, there you go. I uh, I wanted to ask. It seems like Libby's friend is like a big part of tying this together, um, both with um, <clears throat> the incident with the masked man, which is incredibly incriminating. Um, oh, huge! It's huge. You really, I mean, really, it's huge. That is, it is. It I mean, is. It is yeah. mind blowing. It is. Um, you know. And, and then also, I think the same friend said that. Um, that she spoke with Anson these shots, and he said they were supposed to meet. You know, and they didn't. Meet. Yeah, well, he 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 played it off that oh, we were supposed to meet, but she didn't show up. Yeah, yeah. yeah. He, he, so that's the that's the whole thing. Like when you when you back up and just look at at, at just his responses to everything and how he's pushing himself away from this place, and then he's he's dodging that. The guys, yeah. the, you know, it, it's just he's like a chameleon. He, he you know, 
And you could tell he's just full of shit. You know? and it makes me wonder, though, like, um, I think the one thing, the cynicism in me is that all the information we're getting, you know, is staggered by a year or two years. I know. Like, uh, why hasn't anything happened? And could it possibly be due to... Um, I, I, I fully believe in this friend, Libby's friend, and what she said, but... Oh, you know, I mean, 100%. It, Listen, they, they, they also probably yeah. got all of the chat history from her, you know? Oh, uh, okay, okay. Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, I wasn't sure, actually. That was kind of a follow-up question, whether you thought the chat history with the friend was conjecture, like... Uh, retelling or whether it was like a verified by data. I mean, I'm, let's put it this way, right? Libby had that very strange, uh, you know, that the phone was acting up and she did a, you know, a total reset. Could yeah. that have, yeah. What I said was, let's say, let's say Keegan says, you know, I want you to delete your phone. Oh, no, wait, no, wait, no, wait. Now, Keegan's a pretty savvy, I don't want to call him savvy. Let, let's remove that word. He knows how to do stuff with websites and this and that. Could he have embedded a little bug or virus into a, you know, oh, check a picture of me, and then that, you know, that can mess up an iPhone? That was that was happening, you know, five, six years ago. Now, you know, every every software upgrade, they're getting better and better. But back then, there was there was a lot of uh, viruses going around on iPhones, so it is possible that, you know, he knew how to send a virus to, you know, in through, a, through a picture or a file. And these are, you know, these are kids, you know? They're going to open it. You know, it's Anthony. Yeah. You know, it's, yeah. you know he, he's smoothing them over. He's, you know, I believe he also sent Libby money, which I would love to get oh, more I, clarification on that. Where, where did you hear that? That's in that's in the document. Oh, it is. Oh. Yeah, it's in the document. It mentions it mentions. That's when it's getting to like a blowout point with the. Uh, that's why it was so hard for me to, you know. And listen, Mercy did a great job. They really did. I for me, it was too hard. I, I, I need I need to read it myself and, and analyze what was going yeah. on in that room because I did it. I, I need to, you know, so I know that you could see there, there was a lot of heat coming on them and and that was thrown in there. Like, you know, you sent, you know, it was, it was kind of said like uh, you, you gave her money. It, I, I got to I got to go uh, back and look okay. at the exact words. But, but basically it was like, you know, you know, there was money given to her. It could, listen, it could have been 50 gotcha. bucks, whatever gotcha. it is. It was mean, just, that's a lot, though, for a. That's what I'm saying. It's enough to show, like, oh, you know, he really cares about me, yeah, right? I mean, yeah. she was 14 years old, you know, 50 bucks. You think about 50 bucks, 14 years old, oh, my God, he gave me 50 bucks. You know, to a 14-year-old kid, it's a lot of money. I know, I'd be you know, Nobody's yeah. ever done that for a kid before, so. Yeah. They're monsters. Okay. They knew exactly, you know, it's like, the sad part is, even when, like, they go to prison, like, they talk to each other, and they, and they like, give each other tips. It's like, they're... They're professionals. This is what they are professional at is, is manipulating our children. That's I say it all the time. Parents have to have the talk with their kids. You know, whatever they feel the age is right. Talk to your kids. Tell them, you know, don't talk to strangers. Don't ever give it their address. You know, there's just things you got to do because they're out there. They're there all, 24 hours a day. Yeah, I, I see it with my, with my kids on Roblox. Like you see, like an avatar, like like standing next to them and trying to make conversation. I'm like, to me, it's like I'm into like. You know, ban that person. Like I'm crazy. And I'm thinking, like, <laughs> yeah. it could listen. It could be a three year old kid on the other end, just walking, following him. But at the end, to me, it's guy. It's creepy. You know, my kid's playing a game, and there's just this this weird friggin' uh, avatar, you know, chasing after them. So it's just, you know, you have you have to we have to protect our kids. You know, this this case alone should show you. And I do feel horrible for the family that they were told for five years there wasn't a catfish. You know, there was nothing with social media, blah, blah, blah. But even when I first looked at the case, I'm like it, a, a random trucker, okay? When you hear all these people that live within 25-mile radius, they've never been to the bridge. They don't know how to get to the bridge. There's people I've spoken to. I've never been there, don't know how to get there, blah, blah, blah. So, yeah, some random trucker just parked his truck. They had two hours at Packers and said, I'm going to go murder two kids. It doesn't fit the MO. You know what I mean? It just, it just doesn't yeah, fit. Yeah. Uh, thank you so much. And also, no um, problem. I would love to hear you do something on Lisk as well, the Long Island serial killer. Um, if if that, that was ever like, arranged. I, I, yeah. I, if you go on my YouTube channel, just just write it, and I, and I, I will within the next couple weeks, I'll, I'll get something out. Okay. I will. Cool. Thanks. Uh, maybe I'll do a live or something. Perfect. Sounds good. Anybody else? Were we supposed to close out in 15 minutes? Go ahead. I got a few more minutes, though. Let, let's let's see what anybody else has. Oh, I see a hand.
Christine, you have your hand up? I, I'm, I'm hitting you to come in. I'm, I keep pushing the invite to speak. We might go ahead and try that again. I think we've been both hitting it at the same time. Oh, really? Oh, that's Yeah, nice. go ahead. I'll, I'll get my All hands right. on. No, that's fine. No, that's fine. It's not bringing her in. Maybe you could try. I won't, I won't do anything. You could try. I can't, uh, wait, did that work? Okay, go ahead, Christine. Or not. Uh, anybody else have a, have a question or thought? Oh, see, I, I'm, I'm glad I actually looked at the, at the, um, you know, the questions, because two people did bring up when we were just talking about the money. I'm glad I touched on it. For some reason, the, the quite, well, last night, was anybody having problems with the questions coming up very late, because I'm just seeing the one for some nine minutes, nineteen minutes, seven minutes. They just popped up now, and and, and the. Um... Oh, uh, that's because um, uh, some of them have to be um, approved just because the person may not have uh, might have too new of a count or something. So that's why that one was delayed. Oh, uh, gotcha, gotcha. And uh, that's not normal. It's it's you should, they're they're mostly timely. Um, so uh, we can, I believe you, you had said uh, you needed to wrap up here in a few. So we'll let yeah. maybe one or two more questions. That's perfect. Thank you so I much. See, I, I do see somebody said about it, the what we saw with the 194-page document, that, that interrogation was 100% videotaped. That's just standard. It's been standard for 20 years, uh, especially you're, you're doing it with the uh, double murder and whatnot, you know. Definitely, definitely recorded. They made sure they had batteries and tape in there before they even started, right? Yes. Oh uh, no, no. When they when they record, when they that's that's all hardwired in. Yeah, you know, it depends. The ones we used to use, they look like a you know like a motion sensor you have in your house. You, you know what I mean? Like we yeah, right you'd on. have a, right that's that's the stuff we have in our interrogation rooms. And you tell them, but you point out, you know, you're being recorded. You know, that's just what you do. All right. Um, I just have. Good. Can you hear me? Okay. Uh, I just have one last question. Um, sure. I was gonna go on Snapchat, like on their official page, but does anybody has anyone researched into um, back to 2017 about the snap about Snapchat keeping any information at all? Are yeah, we just? I, I I did, and I talked to a couple people, and if you delete the app, right? Yeah. Basically, basically, when you delete the app, everything should have deleted back then. But you'd sign in and delete it again. I, 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 uh, that's what Keegan did do, and you'll see that if you look, if you look at the, uh, you know, at, at the, you know, the transcript, uh, he actually did delete it twice, and he was hit with obstruction for deleting stuff. So that's yeah, charge. I've seen that he deleted it twice, and I was wondering if that had, you know, something, you know, something to yeah. do with like making sure it was permanently erased. But apparently they have, you know, they have Libby's phone, and that's how they kind of, I guess, connected the, you know, the pieces that Kagan was communicating with her that day. So I guess it really wouldn't matter, you know what I mean, because they have her phone. Yeah, no, that's very true. It's very true. Right. Yeah, that, that's, that, that's, supposedly how they, that, that's how that actually supposedly, from what uh, multiple people, and, and somebody actually said that they they've done it before in 2017 and it just seems that way even even with kick messenger you deleted the app that's why he went right home and deleted it that oh and getting back to the, if we just go back to his iphone 5c if the 5c was taken that day i believe we wouldn't be here talking about the case right now okay gotcha Wow, Thank you so much. Statement. My, my, wow. Yeah, I, I believe that, and, and I'm saying that as 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 close to 100 percent as possible. You know that 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 phone not deleted, taken right on the spot. They would have had everything. You know, they would yeah. have had everything. So it's tough. But I got to get off. And listen, uh, tell Zanny we could do this again because my my Great. my little guy he's waving, saying bye bye. <laughs> bye bye. Thank you so much. Have a great no, night, no you guys. No, it's and everyone night. else. <laughs> All right. Thanks for every everybody's bye -bye. participation. Great to have awesome. you. Awesome.
Thank you all so much. This is great.